How Internal Control Weaknesses Contribute to Fraud Implementing controls to prevent and detect fraud is a necessary part of managing fraud risk. In the ACFE's 2020 Report to the Nations, we compared the median losses and median durations of fraud based on whether a specific control was present when the fraud occurred. Four anti-fraud controls were associated with a 50% or greater reduction in both fraud losses and duration. A code of conduct, an internal audit department, management's certification of financial statements, and regular management review of internal controls, processes, accounts, or transactions. Even with internal controls in place, weaknesses led to fraudsters exploiting them. The primary weaknesses that contribute to occupational fraud are a lack of internal controls, an override of existing controls, a lack of management review, and a poor tone at the top. Smaller organizations are more likely to lack internal controls, while larger organizations are more likely to have their controls overridden. Perpetrators in middle management are more likely to override existing controls than other perpetrators. To learn more about how to prevent and detect fraud, visit acfe.com.